This is your first time watching i'm julie and i hope you're ready for everything pumpkin spice because guess what we are in utober so today for the first day i figured that we might as well do like a little mini fall haul and before we get into that if you're not subscribed to my channel already and you like my videos and you want to see more content make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you to like this video because that helps me out a lot to know what you like and without further ado, let's get in to a mini fall haul. First off, do I need to even explain fall pillows? I actually have not had any fall pillows up until now and this year I was just like, you know what? I need more than just like little baby pumpkins lying around the house and shopping happened. So I bought like a bunch of fall decor, which you will see later this month in my decorate my apartment video, as well as a slight little mini tour of my apartment as well, because fun fact, we have moved. So you get to see a new apartment this year. I know it's kind of surreal because last October, I was also moving from Orange County, California up to Seattle. And it's kind of crazy to think that I've been in Seattle now for over a year. Hello, welcome. 2020 is a very, very interesting year so far. That is for sure. Fun little thing to just do for your space, whether or not that's your room, your house, whatever, is you can find literally the cutest pillows at places like Home Goods, at Michael's. I found this Jack pillow on Amazon. I will disclaim, I don't have an Amazon Prime membership anymore. We got rid of that because we don't like them. I would 100% recommend checking out your local craft store because I feel like they have a ton of cute little pumpkins and stuff. Also, if you just aren't really a pillow person, I have seen so many cute little pumpkins in grocery stores now, so you could always pick some of those up. I need to go do that myself, actually, now that I think about it. We'll put that on the grocery list. But yeah, you can put those on your windowsill, you can put them on your bedside table, so cute. So get yourself some cute pillows or little baby pumpkins. The next thing that we need to make the fall mood, like really a mood, is candles candles are so nice not only do they provide like that nice like glowy moody vibe like at night when you don't want a ton of light in your house but like you need to see obviously these i found on sale at west elm and they were in the clarence section i don't i think because one of the ones that i bought actually had like a pretty large scratch in it because these are real wax but these are led candles and as you can see they're pretty realistic looking which is great and it's also really cool because these ones you can change the brightness with them as well you can either have them super bright where you actually get light from them or you can have them down and they're just kind of just a soft little like moody vibe that you can have in the little place that you decide to put them let's talk real candles a sweater weather i found this on an etsy shop and oh my good lord it's like, it's like fall in a jar. It's like that perfect kind of like musky, but like sweet and like cinnamony smell. I love this so much. It's so cool. Cause like the person who makes this is sweet water decor. So if you want to look her up, highly recommend it. She has some really cute, like boss babe mugs and different sorts of candles. I already got into it and it's been about a month now and I've burned about that much through. Right now, I apologize if you ever hear any traffic or sirens or anything because I live in a city and that's what happens. So, 
yeah, I'm sorry now. Hopefully I will be getting um, some better sound equipment so we don't have to listen to that. But until that happens, I do apologize. So yeah, what I was saying is they're soy candles so they're a lot cleaner to burn than if you were burning just a regular like, dare I say it, Bath and Body Works candle because not all of them were actually eco-friendly or safe to burn, especially if you have pets. So just to let you know, that's a little tip I found out recently. So make sure your candles are safe to burn and preferably soy because they're a lot better for your home as well as the environment. So there you go. Would it really be fall time if we did not have a specialized mug to celebrate this season? I don't think so. This is a little mug that I picked up at Home Goods. It's actually like a really good size. Like look at that. Like, this is like almost two cups of coffee and I don't have to get up for that. It's great. So I found this, it was super cute. It has little bats on it, it says spooky. I had a witch's brew one at one point and unfortunately throughout all of my moves in my life, it didn't quite make the cut. So I've been on the hunt for another Utober fall themed mug such as this and I'm so happy that I found it and I want to go ahead and take the time now to put into the universe let's say the beverage of choice this month I think we're gonna have to go with an oat dirty chai latte because chai is just such the embodiment of fall and all things good and it's not quite pumpkin spice so it's not that sweet but it still has those like spicy notes that just get you all warm and fuzzy and uh it's so great but what's also just recognized that chai tea is not coffee so to make it coffee we just throw some espresso in there and guess what we're chilling and because we want to make sure that our drink has caused no harm oat milk. Oat milk is definitely my go-to milk alternative. If you haven't tried it yet, you don't know what you're missing. You need to go try it ASAP. I wanted some more boots this fall, but I didn't know what I really wanted to get. Such a sucker for buying the same color boots non-stop and I've done it again. I have like only black boots right now. Yeah, I only have black boots right now except for my duck yellow bean boots and that, that's that's it. But I picked up some vegan Doc Martens and this is just the classic eight eyelet boot and it's vegan leather and I've had these before and honestly like these are some of the most comfortable lace up like all around good to walk around your city boot and that's why like typically I end up picking up more like combat boots and stuff because since Nick and ooh, since Nick and I don't have a car we only walk places basically the one exception to that is when our friends who live across the water from us they come and pick us up and take us places because they're already going themselves but generally speaking when it's us or just me going around the city like we walk because I don't really want to get into a Lyft or Uber right now. So highly, highly recommend getting yourself a nice pair of combat boots this season. They're so versatile. They're so classic. I don't feel like they're ever going to go out of style. It's one of those things where you can dress up or down. You can put it with, you know, some leggings and a flannel, make it super casual. You can also put it with a dress and with a little hat. And then you have like a super cute, but like, almost like grungy, soft look going. I really love that look. Yeah, I've, I've, I've sold my soul to boots. Like, what can I say? Like, I just, I just, I just love a good pair of boots. Do you know what I'm saying? And then if we're on the topic of shoes, you might as well continue, right? Are some of the best slippers I have ever, ever owned. Get yourself some fuzzy slippers. They not only keep your feet warm, but also because they're slides, like your feet don't get too hot. Because if you're like me and like I'm constantly just walking all over my apartment, I end up getting hot somehow. Because like even in the winter time, like I live in like either my leggings and my sports bra or like a t-shirt and shorts. Like unless I'm going outside, I just run really warm in the house. So highly recommend 
getting yourself some nice fuzzy slides. They are so comfortable and your feet will thank you because it took me years to figure this out, but I found that just walking around on hardwood floor, especially like I didn't have this problem as much when we lived in an apartment with carpet, but I absolutely hate carpet because I just don't feel like it's very clean. No matter how much you clean it, like I just feel like you just can never do it well enough, if you know what I'm saying. From then on, I have been on a mission that we live in apartments with only like hardwood floor or minimal carpet. And thankfully, being in Seattle, it rains so much here. So we now have all hardwood flooring throughout our entire apartment. So the downside to that is that my arches and my knees get really tired. So having these fuzzy slippers, my body is thanking me because I may only be 26 years old, but God knows my body's probably like 40. Let's be real. So there you go. What is a new season without setting the mood with some music? We just recently got a record player and I've had records now for the last like year and I've had nowhere to play it on. So that was slightly awkward. They were kind of just decorations for a hot second. But now that we have a player, I've been listening to these two specifically just on repeat because I feel like they're just such sweater weather essentials. The first one is Sea Monster by Joey Pecoraro, and I actually had the pleasure of seeing him live last year in LA when he played in Silver Lake. And honestly, it was one of like the coolest concert experiences that I've been to in a while because normally like a lot of the concerts I go to are way more poppy or like hardcore, like where everyone's like jumping up and down and getting like super hyped. And don't get me wrong, like I love that type of environment like every so often and it's just fun to like be in the crowd like that. But when we went to this concert in particular, it was just like everyone was there to like chill and like vibe with the music. And it was just a whole other scene that I haven't really experienced in a while. If you haven't already listened to his music, Joy Pecoraro, go check him out. Next album that I've been listening to is this Bon Iver one. I'm sure we're all very familiar. I have listen to this on spotify i don't know how many years now during the fall time like i just feel like this is just such a mood especially when like in the morning and you have like a cozy blanket and your cup of coffee and you're like curled up on the couch and just kind of trying to slowly wake yourself up like this is just a nice album to listen to especially it's raining and you're just like, ooh, let's get cozy and put on a giant sweater. Mm, so good. So we got it on vinyl. Bluetooth speaker that we happen to have. So I am so excited for the day that we actually get real speakers because I'm sure this album is going to sound even better than. Whoa, we're on the topic of sweaters. I have this sweater. Nick calls it my Charlie Brown sweater. It's really oversized and it has these really nice stripes on it. It feels like those teddy bear jackets that were super in like, I wanna say like last fall or the fall before that. She's cute. I like her. I like her a lot. During the Nordstrom sale this year, I found a free people sweater. And if you know, you know that free people is not always the nicest on the wallet. So when I can figure out how to get them on sale, I'm gonna do it because they make really nice sweaters. Like all my sweaters that I've ever bought from free people, they last forever and I don't have to replace them. I just wash them and I just lie them flat when they dry and they are pristine. Like I'm telling you, if you want a good investment piece, try to find them on sale or secondhand, obviously, because that's gonna save you a ton. I think this is gonna be my new fall and winter favorite. Like, just the detailing on this sweater is nuts. Like, I just love that. And then the front, it has this other pattern on it. It's slightly cropped and it comes up in the front a little bit. So it's, it's like right on top of your jeans. So you can do like a little French tuck, it's super cute. And then the sleeves are like these giant balloon sleeves. I will say that I am 5'8", so I'm relatively tall. And this is a small. And a lot of people online when I was reading the reviews and stuff, 
they were complaining that if you're shorter, the sleeves are massively long. I don't personally think they're massively long, but also just understand that I am 5'8", so I'm relatively tall and my arms are kind of lanky, so. Overall though, love this sweater. I think this is gonna be a staple for many, many years to come. I do not foresee myself like ever getting rid of this. I picked up this cute little taro deck and I found it at my local grocery store. And it's just this cute little pink one. And I thought it would just be nice to like have just chilling on the coffee table, just, you know, set the mood of the season a little bit. And it's really nice because it actually comes with this little booklet, which tells you how to read the cards properly and everything like that. So if you are into actually reading your cards and you're kind of new at this, you have how to as well, so cute and functional. And the second card deck I decided to pick up is actually also from my local grocery store. They have some really cool stuff, I'm not gonna lie. It's this Lady Moon deck of cards and I just thought this was just so pretty. Like, look at that packaging. I'm a sucker for really good packaging. Like, I'm, I'm not even gonna pretend I'm not. We haven't had any playing cards for who knows what reason in our house for like the longest time. So I figured, all right, it's time to actually fix that and let's buy a deck of cards. And I'm trying to get this to focus on the back because the back is so pretty. There we go. So I saw these, had to pick them up. Now we have cards. So this winter we can actually play cards and have wine nights and stuff. And lastly, I picked up this blanket from Urban. It's like kind of a celestial looking blanket with some eyes and some stars on it. And it's like this really pretty pink and it has tasseled ends. And this is currently living on my couch normally. And I honestly do not like blankets that don't have like some weight to them. Like, I don't know, like I just feel like you have like plastic wrap on you or something. And I can't get behind cuddling up in a blanket that I feel like does not exist, but is there. I will tell you this blanket does have a little bit of weight to it. It's nothing crazy, of course, but if you are like me and you prefer to like feel like you have like a blanket on you, you will absolutely love this one because it is so comfortable. So I highly recommend if you want a new blanket that is spooky season appropriate. That's basically it for my fall haul this year. I actually also got, oh, I should've brought that in here. I didn't bring it in here. I'll go get it. One second. Okay. I also got this spruce and cinnamon hand soap from my local grocery store. It smells so good. It's currently in my guest bathroom. It kind of reminds me more of Christmas than fall, like I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but since we're now starting the season of going into the holidays, I feel like this is okay and appropriate. There you have it. There is my little fall haul for you and I hope that you will enjoy this Utober season as much as I do because honestly, like this is the first time I have been actually in one place to film this versus trying to move or just trying to do a lot of other things at once. So I am praying, <laughs> give me strength, that I will be faithful and I will be able to push out 31 videos this year. Still pray for me though. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I cannot wait to see you all again tomorrow. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe and follow me along with the spooky season vibes. You know? You know. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.